Parasite is a wickedly entertaining, dark, satirical comedy about the huge divide between the extremely poor people and the ultra-rich. I was surprised it won Best Picture because most Americans generally avoid any film with subtitles, but in theaters here and on the mainland, this bold, brilliant fantasy has been showing continuously since the beginning of November. Meet the dirt poor Kim family. They live in a squalid, bug-ridden apartment in a slum. Mom, dad, brother, and sister. Not one of them is gainfully employed. They even mess up a job folding pizza boxes. Nonetheless, one of the son's friends recommends him as the tutor to a teenage girl in a rich family, and the son is smart enough to win the job. It's the beginning of a series of elaborate cons in which the son's sister is hired to teach art to the Park family's troubled young boy. In short order, the streetwise brother and sister managed to get both the Parks family driver and housekeeper fired and their own mother and father hired to replace them. And when the Parks leave their mansion to go on vacation, the devious Kims take full advantage of their absence. After this point, the plot consists of one unpredictable surprise after another. You may think you know where it's going, but chances are you don't. Parasite is creative, outrageous, and shocking. At the end, you may find yourself thinking, wow, what was that? Director Bong Joon-ho creates a few scenes I had trouble watching, like this one where floodwaters caused the sewers to overflow into the Kim's dumpy apartment, and the sister sits on an erupting toilet trying to light a cigarette. I don't want to spoil anything, but I do want to warn you that near the end of the movie, there is a scene of grotesque, grisly violence with more blood than I was willing to tolerate. Bong describes his film as a comedy without clowns and a tragedy without villains. It's all that and more. Terry Hunter, Hawaii News Now.